So I received a comment recently that was uh, interesting. It asked me about a certain company, uh, I think it was onehourtranslations.com, and it asked what I thought about this company, if it was legit, if it was good, if it was bad, etc. And, uh, and, I've, and I've, I've received a couple of these of questions like this in, uh, in the past. People ask me about specific companies and uh, whether I, you know, I've worked with them, if I think they're legitimate or if I think they're scams or not. Usually I never hear about these companies, but then I search for them and try to get an impression and just let them know what I feel. And I, you know, I, I let them know, whoever asks, I tell them I haven't worked with this company before, but this is what I think. So today I kind of just wanted to show you the process that I go through when I hear about a new company, if it's a company that I'm gonna be working with, or if you just ask me about the company or anything like that, this is the process that I go through. So from now on, if people ask me about certain companies, I'll probably refer them to this video um, just so uh, you can do your own research. And that way you can get your own idea about any company that comes across your radar and, uh, and you have the tools necessary to evaluate if it's a company you wanna work for or not. So I think the best way to do this is to do a screenshot and uh, where you can see me go through the process of looking up a company. So let's do that. So usually where I start off is pros. Uh, yeah, actually it's the pros.com blue board. Um, and I've mentioned this before, but first of all, pros.com is the main translation website for freelance translators. And the blue board is where they list all the companies and they give them a score. In general, the scores should be around five or high fours. If it's anything lower, like three and definitely 2.2, then that's, uh, that's a red flag, that's a bad sign. Um, for example, uh, we'll take, you know, we'll take this one and see what it says. This Studio Moretto group, um, it has, as you can see, lately, so what it has is, is, well, actually it's just varied. It is, it's all a bunch of uh, bad ones. At the beginning, you can see actually it started off with a bunch of fives. Then there was just one, one, then another one here. And then, uh, they've delayed our payment for years. Please cherish your reputation in the translation market. And apparently they don't cherish it because a bunch of people have problems. And, uh, so anyway, let's do this. I want to do this again because I was, um, contacted, uh, about a specific group called one hour translation. And, uh, I've seen this around quite a few times. So I thought it would be worth, uh, looking into here we go. One hour translation right away. We see they have, uh, they're based out of Cyprus, apparently, and they have a 3.8. Uh, this is not very good. And in fact, we see lately, uh, they have a debt to pay me since August. I posted a critical comment, including a new hybrid translation and was banned from their website without notice. Although my last payment is still pending. So it seems like they have issues with payment more than anything. Otherwise, these are all good. Now, usually most agencies will just have five. Um, and, you know, that's kind of the standard on this website. And you get a different feel for different websites, how they work. But that's how it usually works here. Again, didn't receive payment. Um, I advise them to redo a translation and to proofread. The text was awful. I was blocked as a vendor. That doesn't seem very nice. Unethical, unprofessional behavior. And uh, so, yeah, these are the bad things. Obviously, they're good ones as well. But to me, this is a red flag. Uh, when you see 3.8 in the past 12 months, 3.2, this is uh, not good. Once again, the, you know, usually here, they're all five. Someone will give, even if one person gives a two or a one, you know, the rest will be five. And that's usually how it happens. So th this is actually quite bad. Um, also, because once you, give, uh, once you give this, you can actually change it. So what happens is sometimes people aren't getting paid and they're like, oh, this company hasn't paid me in three months or six months or whatever. They give a one and then the company does pay them because they want to get rid of that. And so they'll raise it, you know, and they'll give it like a three or four and say, oh, the company finally paid me. So I raised my rate. So the fact that obviously this company, one hour translation hasn't even bothered to try to follow up or try to raise these. That's also a red flag to me, right? Um, so anyway, and if, if you're not sure about this, what you can also do is check the forums to see if anyone's talking about anything. Pros.com has its own forums and uh, here you can search for one hour translation. There you go. You can tell I did the search for him already. Um, and, uh, and then you get to see a bit, you know, what some people are talking about. And, uh, you know, you can just scroll around and, and see what it says here. Uh, let's see what one hour translation. There we go. I used to start working for low cost translation websites such as one hour translation or the Spanish Babelic, blah, blah, blah. So basically a low cost translation website. It seems like one of those websites that don't pay you much. They obviously don't seem to care very much if they pay you or not. And, uh, 
and yeah, so I don't know. To me, there's a couple red flags. Now, if you're still not sure though, because you know, it was kind of ambiguous. There were quite a few fives and everything like that. Then there are, there are definitely other places you can check. Usually for me, the second place that I check is uh, translatorscafe.com, if it would load. And uh, sorry about this, lately I've been having some issues. So, and actually I should show you here, one hour translation, I spelt it all attached. Maybe if you do like this, no. Uh, sometimes if you do various different variations of, uh, of the company name, some other things pop up, like let's try one hour translation. But no, these are all obviously different, so yeah. And Pros usually does a good job of combining them when they should be combined into, uh, into one company. So here we go, and um, first of all, this is a very confusing website to me, so you'll forgive me if, but no. First of all, you can check the discussion forums, um, and I never remember how to do it here. We can do the search, I guess. One hour translation, there we go. And let's see what pops up. Uh, warning scammers pretending to be Genko. I'm not sure. Maybe they're pretending to be Genko. Genko, one hour translation.com. Uh, I've checked a little more. Um, and while the two agencies named Genko have more or less the same setup, working methods and payment schedule, the websites are dissimilar. And I may have made a mistake thinking that Genko is also one hour translation. Uh, well, they're not. They're different companies. I, I, I know that. And actually there I would head back to here because as I mentioned, um, the uh, pros is usually very good at combining different websites, you know, even when sometimes they do try to be different or try to come up with a separate name because their first name has a bad reputation. Um, Pros.com is good at combining them, but here it shows it's a different company. Uh, Genko, yeah, I mean, Genko I've heard of before, so I do know. And anyway, so uh, there you go. There's another place you can go if you want under uh, Translators Cafe. And uh, if I find it, I think it was under Community as well. There we go, Community. Oh, Hall of Fame and Shame, there we go. And this, is, this functions pretty much just like the uh, blue board under Pros. Um, and here you can see one hour translation, except as you can see, they don't combine them and I don't know. So it makes it kind of confusing also because here we have one star and here we have five stars. Uh, now I actually, what, so I've, I've been going at this for a while, so I can notice a certain red flag here and that's that this is an affiliate link. An affiliate link means someone who gets paid to refer you to this company. So if I click on this and then I use one hour translation and end up doing business with them, this gets tracked, basically my, uh, my, you know, my ISP or something gets tracked and this guy here gets paid. So anytime there's an affiliate, of course they're gonna give it five stars because they want you to click on this website and use it. Um, but here I see two users have rated this one and have both given it apparently one star. So that's what I'm going to trust, I think more than anything. Uh, you can click on it. Um, <laughs> you can click on it and you get this. It seems like I haven't paid my dues to Translators Cafe. Translators Cafe is actually, it's a free website, but yeah, you don't have access to everything when you don't pay. I thought I had access to the Hall of Fame and Shame, but apparently I don't because I'm not a master member. So if you're a master member, you can see more details, but either way, you can see the, uh, the rating they give. Now, before I sign off, now usually this is all you need to more or less get an idea because these are both very translation specific, pros and Translators Cafe. But um, if you're still not sure, there are certain other things you can do. You can just do exactly a search for one hour translation and review. That's what I usually do. Um, and you'll have, here you have two things. You have Glassdoor and uh, Yelp. So Glassdoor is a website that rates them from the perspective of employees. So if you're working there and it, sh it rates how it is to work there and that's 3.2. So that's what I would trust more than anything if you're gonna work for, um, for one hour translation. Yelp, as you know, reviews it from the point of view as a consumer, and here it's 3.5, so you can make of it what, what you wish. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna, here, I'll just click on it quickly, uh, just to uh, show you uh, more or less how it works. Great company and people, current employee, anonymous employee. Um, so, you know, this person seems to like it. Used to be a great agency, no more. Um, Amazing place to start a career, quality, but it gives it three stars, so I'm not sure. Good, but it should be employee inclusive, good service, messy management. Um, so I don't know, you know, here, here it's a bit all over the board. So 
and actually this shows you well because many times i mean look if it's a scam it gets quite obvious it's a scam one hour translation does not seem to be a scam but it does seem to be quite iffy and so it you know it goes back to the low cost translations if it's low cost then maybe you can um go for it but otherwise i don't know um here there's one other place that i want to share with you although i really don't have much luck with this here uh bb the, this is a better business bureau so this is for companies in the states it said it was based out of cyprus but for some reason they have it listed here although it's not bbb accredited but it gives it an a plus and then it has one negative review so this literally could not be more confusing i don't know what's going on here composite score 3.68 um two customer complaints i really don't know what's happening let's click on the customer review to see what it says um and you'll get an idea beware of i guess they blacked out the numbers just rob me i've been working for blah 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 and they give a comment you're clearly a translator for one hour translation as such a service provider I suggest that you contact the translators so anyway uh, so this is precisely a translator working for them that had a problem with them let's look at the two customer complaints um one year ago i had a document with 150 words translated by them uh pre-estimate was 400 words still paid blah 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 anyway this, so this is a um this is a client who had a problem with them. I purchased a certificate translation for this business and was given a time frame and had several mistakes that needed correcting and did not. Yeah, so, you know, again, here it just seems like a low cost kind of thing. So what's your conclusion? The conclusion is always a judgment call, right? If you're desperate for cash and you're, you know, you'll want to work anywhere, then sure, look up a one hour translation and see. But it seems like they're not very reliable. I would jump ship as soon as you can find someone else uh that's better here i want to show you something that is a bit more and this is a company that i had problems with and so i'm going to show this just because i uh i want to give them neg negative publicity every time i can i mean they're not in business anymore really but so here i was working for intertrato and you can see intertrato seems to be doing very well it has five and this is out of spain but intertrato or trado or whatever is uh this one based in italy has a very low score and uh it's run by this lady from jessica genie and uh, i mean it was basically a scam and uh you, you can see it has ones 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 and it does have this five uh but this five you know because then i remember clicking on this guy one entry it's obviously that this is a fake account or some friend of hers who who you know uh wrote it up but anyway all the other ones gave one uh and uh and they say yeah terrible experience società insolvente basically means you know it's a, it's a company with no money um and i obviously also gave it a one and uh so what you can see here is this outsource has been banned from posting jobs at pros.com and that'll that's what'll happen if you get too many bad reviews and uh so uh, anyway i do think pros.com does a very good job and that's why the first place i go is always i check the blue board at pros.com and so if i were you that's the first thing I would do. Anytime you hear about a new company, enter the name pros.com slash blueboard and enter the name here and see what pops up. Then you can do all the other research if you want to clarify it or, or what have you. But this is the first place to look. So anyway, I hope this helps. And uh, so anytime you hear of a new translation company or contacted by one, I would go here first. This is literally what I still do all the time because it is uh, an invaluable resource that they provide.